Hello, Namaskar and a very good afternoon to all the viewers watching our session out there. This is Simran Singh and you are watching this particular live telecast of NCERT on eVidya channel number 4. Besides, we have so many different mediums through which you all can connect with us and you can participate in our live interactive sessions. So, one of the mediums, as you all know, it is our YouTube channel, that's NCERT official. So, for another half an hour, we have a session of EVS, that is Environmental Studies for all class 4 students. And you know what are we going to discuss today? Well, the title is Baswa's Farm. So, what are we going to discuss in this particular segment and uh, why are we considering about a farm or a farmer and who is Baswa, what is he doing? So, providing us more insights into the conversation, we are joined by Mrs. Manju Pindharkar, ma'am. Namaskar, ma'am. Good afternoon, uh, we welcome you. Ma'am is ex-teacher at Army Public School, Pune, Maharashtra. So, viewers, if you are watching this particular segment through television, then here is our contact number. It's flashing on your screens. So, feel free to give us a call at 8800440559. And the official mail ID for class 4 students is dth.class4 at the rate ciet.nic.in. And before commencing this conversation, I have an important piece of information regarding G20 for all of you. We are proud that India assumed the G20 presidency and will convene the G20 leader summit for the first time in the country in this year, that is 2023. The nation is deeply committed to democracy and multilateralism. India's G20 presidency would be a watershed moment in her history as it seeks to play a very important role by finding pragmatic global solutions for the well-being of everyone and in doing so, manifest the true spirit of Vasudev Kutumbakam or the world is one family. So, let's get back to our conversation of EVS and uh, Manju ma'am, I'll request you to apprise our viewers more about today's session. A very good afternoon Simran and all the students and other people who are viewing this session. I'm Manju Pentharkar and I'm going to cover chapter 14, class 4, Baswa's farm. Well, as we all are aware of dear students, our country is an agriculture based country. Most of the people over here are either associated with farming or farming related uh, professions. So, Baswa is a farmer and he belongs to Karnataka. Now, children, as we all are aware of that uh, for farming, we require a particular type of temperature, a particular type of soil for a particular crop to grow well. So, let's go into detail on Let's see what chapter 14 unfolds and tells you and teaches you. The chapter begins with, here is Basra, Baswa who is telling you about his own life story. I am Baswa and my father is a farmer. We live in Bevantika village in Karnataka. It is the month of July. Like every year, Appa, my father is preparing the field to sow the onion crop. That means, in ke kheto mein pyaas ki kheti hoti hai, onion crop. There are so many things to be done at this time. And to help him, I too go to the uh, field with Appa in the last few days. Appa has been using the khunti. It's a, it's a tool used in Karnataka like, uh, it's, it has an iron rod and it is, an instrument which helps in digging the soil and loosen it and make it soft. So children, Baswa is sharing his life experiences, how he helps his father. And I'm very sure, Simran ma'am, all the students who are viewing this program also must be helping their parents sure. in their own way, in their own houses. So Baswa is a farmer's son and he helps his father in loosening the soil by digging the soil with khunti it's an instrument like we use khurpi or kulhari they call it khunti in karnataka 
Now in Baswa's area, an implement called Kunti is used to loosen the soil. What is this kind of implement called in your area? Draw it and discuss. Like I just said, in my area, it is called either Kurpi or Thawda. So it depends. We call the same instrument different names. Now find out how he does uh, use this Kunti in the field and what is your experience? That is an activity which is expected that the students will do and let us do. Now sowing the seeds. Now how this step is done? Baswa is explaining. This year also my father will sow onion seeds in the field. The bullocks will pull the kurige and appa will walk behind them. Kurige is hal. Jisko hum hal bolte hain. That is kurige. And what he will do? He will sprinkle the seeds. I would also like to do this just like my appa. But appa says that it is necessary to drop the right amount of seeds at a regular distance. This is not so easy to do. He says that I may drop too many seeds at one place. I must wait till I am a little older to be able to do this properly. Now children, I am very sure even your parents must be telling you that you are only supposed to do this job and not that job. Why? Because you are still very small. Once you will grow old, you will be able to do all kinds of jobs. Like chopping a vegetable. I am very sure peeling a uh, potato is easier than cutting onions in small pieces. And that time if you ask your mother to give you a sharp knife to cut the vegetable, I am sure she will be telling you that you have to grow old enough to be able to use a sharp knife. In the same way, Baswa's father is not discouraging his son Baswa. But he is telling him that sowing the seed is an art. And for that you need to understand at which distance the seed should be put in the soil. So children, these are small, small things which you all will understand and learn once you grow old. Now Baswa helps his father in the field by helping him in loosening the soil and at times even in taking care of the animals also because animals are also a big help to all the farmers when they use the animals while doing the farming. Now, the sprouts appear after some time. After you put the seed in the soil, you sprinkle some water and after one week or so, small sprouts appear. It is now 20 days since the seeds were sown and the onion plants have started to sprout. Along with onion plants, Weeds have also come up. Weeds grow in fields. Children, weeds are unwanted grass which uh, tamper the uh, growth of the plant and the weeds have to be removed from time to time. They are unwanted grass, not at all required. So, the sprouting starts after 20 days of the so seeds being sown and the weeds also grow and as farmers, the weeds their job is to remove the weeds and I am very sure Baswa at that age uh, can easily remove the weeds from the fields. Now as uh, the lesson goes, weeds grow in fields and gardens without being planted. Nobody plants the weeds, they grow on their own and spread very fast. And as I told you, they even temper the growth of these uh, plants. So the weeds need to be removed from time to time. Appa says that we must remove the weeds so that they do not take up all the water and fertilizers. If there are too many weeds, then the onion plants will not be healthy. Amma, uncle and I, we all help Appa to take out the weeds. Now growing of plants, I am happy to see the plants growing. They are tall enough to reach my knees. Now as the time passes, the plant size also increases. The leaves have started turning yellow and drying up. This means that the onions are ready to be taken out. Now children, this activity you are supposed to do in the classbook notebook. Draw any crop which you have seen in the field. Everyone at home will have to discuss that with the elders or go to a nearby area where the, some crop is being uh, cultivated 
and it is important that this should be done at the right time. If we are late, the onions will rot in the ground itself and all our hard work will be wasted. As I told you, farming is a very tedious process, children. It's not a very easy job. And onions too have a very limited life. So time to time you have to monitor their growth, cut them and save them from uh, different kinds of uh, weeds being grown all around or even they rot in the field also. So Baswa helps his father in the field. Do you help the elders in your family in their work? What do you help with? You have to answer all these questions, children. <coughs> now, do you enjoy doing that work? Like your parents must be telling you, clean your uh, cupboard, clean your bed and uh, fold your bed covers and bed sheets or arrange and assemble all your study material on your study table. I'm sure all the mothers must be chasing you all. And I'm sure you will be doing all this job at home. Now children, everyone at home in Baswal's house is very happy. Because as you see, the ladies are cutting the top edge of the onion, which are the yellow leaves, because they are not required. And the gents in the picture, all these pictures are from your textbook of NCERT. The gents are collecting the cut onions. Cut onions, not properly. The leaves of the onions are put, cut and they are stored in the sack like the picture is already illustrating. Everyone at home is happy. This time the onions are big and healthy. Amma and Aati use the elige. Elige is hasiya, jisko hum hasiya bolte hain. To cut the dried leaves from the top of the onions. And the elige is sharp and you have to be very careful not to cut your fingers. Appa and uncle fill the sacks with onions. Appa will take them in a truck to sell them in the big market. This is the way the farmers have to work from time to time. Right from sowing the seed, giving water, giving proper irrigation and till the crop is cut and taken to the market for sale. Now children, Baswas Appa takes the onion in the market and how does he carry the crop? I'm very sure he must be having either a three-wheeler or a bullock cart to carry the crop from the field to the market. Now children, there is a pictorial activity, very interesting one already in your textbook. You will be seeing these pictures. Now you have to do this activity in your classwork notebook. Given here are pictures of some implements used by Baswa's family. Write the names of the, these implements and also write what these are called in your area. I have already given you some answer and what work are they used for. Now, you have to name in this chapter what this instrument is called in this particular chapter. Name in your area and where it is used. For example, number 1, number 2 and number 3. I have already made an answered worksheet which I will be showing you very soon. Another pictorial activity is extremely uh, interesting. Many steps are needed to grow crops and these pictures are speaking volumes about the process of how the crop is cultivated, how the people in the house do the job, different jobs in the field and even at home till the crop reaches the market and find out about the crop that is grown in your area. Also find out the steps that are part of this work. Draw them in your notebook. And I'm sure all the children will be very much interested in doing this pictorial activity. Now children, in Baswa's area, an implement called Kunti is used to loosen the soil. What is this kind of implement called in your area? The answer is the kind of implement is called Kudal in my area and find out a farmer or some from the elders in your family what kinds of crops are grown in your area. Wheat, rice, maize, sugarcane, mustard, vegetables etc. are some crops grown in my area. Well, the answer may differ from child to child because you all might be belonging to different areas. So the answer will also vary but I expect you all 
to write it down in a neat handwriting in your classwork notebook and send it across. Now children, Baswa helps his father in the field. Do you help the elders in your family in their way? And what do you help with? Do you enjoy doing that work? Well, the answer, if it is asked to me, yes, I help my mother in cleaning the house and serving food to all. I also help my parents in buying goods from market. Children, ma'am, do you help your parents or elders in the house and in which way? Yes, ma'am, I, I try to do the maximum that I can. Uh, for example, uh, my mother, uh, she does service, so I wash the dishes if I can before she comes back home. And uh, sometimes when she is out, I do cook for my family, like my father and for my brother. That's great. That's really great. And I'm sure the students who are viewing this program will also be coming out with the answers that they also help their parents in keeping the house clean, in assembling their notebooks and arranging the books, copies, the uniform, the shoes and other things at their respective places. And do you enjoy doing that work? Yes, I enjoy doing all these works and I expect the same answer from most of the students. Now, write answers in your notebook. Children, all these questions are already printed in your classwork, your notebook, or excuse me, textbook. I expect you all to give the answers in your own words. Here are some answers that I have picked for you. Baswa is unable to attend school for some days because he has to help his father in collecting onions from the field. Yes, there is a field near my house. Some vegetables like tomatoes, mint, green chilies and onions are grown in that field. If there were no proper roads, then fruits and vegetables would be taken to another place by rickshaw, cycle, bullock cart, donkeys, etc. So children, these are the questions like question 3, that is C. On top, Baswa's appa takes the onion to the market in a truck. Think how would the fruits and vegetables be taken to another place if there were no proper roads? These are the problems that the farmer usually faces. Now, the deep question is, what kind of vehicles are used to carry fruits and vegetables in your area? Draw a picture of any of these uh, vehicles in your notebook. So, children, I have already given you the answers and I have picked up a picture of a cycle rickshaw and it's a trolley rickshaw rather which, it, which is used in my area and that I have just picked up one example you may pick up another uh, vehicle that is used in your area now as I told you that you have to do this pictorial activity and here are the answers Name in this chapter of the first implement is Kurige. Name in my area is called Hal. Work, it is used to plough the field. Second, it's Kunti. In my area, it is called Kudal. And the work it is used for, it is used to loosen the soil. Matti ko khodne ke kaam mein laate hain isko. And the third is Ilige in the chapter. But in my area, it is called Darati or Hasiya. It is used to cut crops and vegetables. So children, this pictorial activity, I expect you all. First, you are supposed to draw these pictures and write the answers in front of each picture. And the last activity, that is another a pictorial activity, is number one. These are the different steps uh, used in farming. First is taking onions out, removing the weeds, sowing the seeds loosening the soil, cutting large plants and last is packing onions in sacks. And now children, number one is naturally loosening the soil. Number two is sowing the seeds. Number three will be in the order, removing the weeds. Number four will be cutting large plants. Number five, taking onions out. And the last step is packing onions in sacks and taking them to the nearest market for sell. And which uh, crop is grown in your area? In my area, wheat is grown. So I have picked up wheat. So children, this is what is, these are the steps involved in growing the wheat crop. Number one, soil is cultivated with the plough. Seeds are sown in the soil manually or by seeds drill. Manure and fertilizers are added to the soil. Soil is irrigated properly. Irrigation means pani dena. 
Weeds are removed. Weeds are unwanted grass. Crop is cut using a combine and wheat seeds are packed and stored properly. So children, these are different steps which are involved in growing wheat crop. I'm sure my explanation and illustration would help you in understanding chapter 14, Baswa's Farm from your chapter. Any query, you can send it across and I'm sure Simran ma'am, these queries will reach me and I'll try to uh, give the right answers. Uh, thank you so much ma'am for connecting with us and also for sharing uh, this beautiful explanation uh, with the help of a story that is written in the form of Baswa's farm. So ma'am before concluding this session I would like uh, you to reflect on the aspect why is it so important for our students to understand uh, agriculture sector in particular and also to be more aware of the fact that how hard our farmers work to get their food on our tables. Ma'am, as I started the chapter today, India is an agriculture based country. Most of the people over here are farmers and we usually underestimate the hardships that a farmer puts in the field. That's why we should understand that farming is a very tedious process. It's a time consuming process and it is it requires a lot of hard work, the physical work. And that is why many people think that farming is something which, are, which is not as great as uh, doing a job in a corporate sector or uh, going to the office for uh, earning bread and butter. And we underestimate the hardships that the farmer goes through. But there we do a mistake. That's why with this chapter, Baswa's farm, we are being made, uh, we are making the children aware of the importance of the role of a farmer, the hardships that the farmer goes through and how difficult it is to keep up with the pace. So many things have to be considered, Simran ma'am, the climate of a place, the temperature, the change in the weather is so, so important for a farmer and not only the farmer, the, the men in the house, they have to work in the field, so as the women in the house. Because once the men are back, they have, they have loads of work. They bring loads of, of work back to the home. Like ladies have to remove the weeds in the fields. They help in cutting the top edge of the crops or help the men in the house in this uh, growing of any crop for that matter. So yes, ma'am. Farming has to be taken really seriously. Of course, ma'am. And thank you for concluding it at a beautiful note for all our viewers. Thank Once you, again, uh, thanking you for your time and for sharing the valuable insights with us. And uh, a word of thanks to all the viewers who have connected with us for this particular session of EVS. Stay tuned, right up we have our next session uh, for all of you and before concluding this segment as always an important piece of information regarding G20. We are proud that India assumed the G20 presidency and will convene the G20 leader summit for the first time in the country in this year. That's 2023. The nation is deeply committed to democracy and to multilateralism. India's G20 presidency would be a watershed moment in her history as it seeks to play a very important role by finding pragmatic global solutions for the well-being of everyone and in doing so manifest the true spirit of Vasudev Kutumbakam or the world is one family. Thank you to all the viewers. Uh, keep watching with their channels and we'll be right back with another session within the next few minutes. Namaskar.